Hi guys, welcome to Flying Grip Academy. Today we are going to discuss the concept called VPC. Here basically VPC defines virtual private connection. So where we are going to have a security groups which are associated. So now here we are having a virtual private cloud and there are certain kind of VPCs which are set in your uh, group which are called default VPC. There are subnets are associated with it, but what I have uh, faced the issue is subnets are deleted automatically. So here, what the issue I have faced is there is no subnets I have seen whenever I am going to create an instance. So now what I am going to do is I am going to do EC2 terminal. So now here I am going to click the EC2. What I am going to do is whenever I am going to launch an instance, I am going to face a problem that in which particular region I, I could able to place my security group. So before creating, you can able to notice there are certain regions so which are AP, South, 1A, 1B, 1C before going to create the subnets. So here I am going to open a notepad. I am going to paste this one. So we, are, we need to have these particular zones 1A, 1B and 1C. But unfortunately there are no particular regions are associated whenever I am going to uh, see the VPC. There are default VPC in that there are certain regions which are already should be placed. So now whenever you are going to create and uh, launching the instance, what is going to happen is here you will be selecting the default security group. So if you are going to select the default security group, here I cannot able to select this, uh, the things like uh, 1A, 1B, 1C and uh, so on. If you are going to select subnet, no subnet is showing here. Here if you see, there are no subnets are associated here. So at that time, most of the people are facing the issues. In order to avoid that particular difficulty, what I am going to do is, I am going for VPCs. Here in the search bar, you type the VPC, Virtual Private Cloud. Here basically Amazon will be having a default VPC, so which should have some specific regions. If you are going to click the Create VPC, you can able to create a VPC, it is going to show so if you are going to uh, uh, make a project, so there should be a subnets 1A, 1B and 1C. And again it is related with the routing tables and it is going to be connected with the network connections. So now here I am going to see the VPC. Already I have a default VPC but no subnets are associated with it. Now what I am going to do is I am going to create a subnet. So now here, before creating a subnet, I am going to select a VPC, which is default VPC. If you are going to see the IP address, it is having 172.31.0.0.16. So, it is going to show the CIDR block. And now, what I am going to do is, here, I am going to type the subnet name. What is the subnet name I would like to type is AP South 1A. AP South 1A and here I would like to select the availability zone which is 1A. 1A should be mapped to 1A. The next thing here we need to type the IP address associated with it. So now here if you are going to see this particular IP here 172.31.0.0.16. 16 is particular block which is a CIDR block which is associated to subnet and now here we need to type 20. So 20 is associated to another one. So here 31 dot here we are going to type the 16. Okay, so now I am going to create a subnet. Now subnet is created which is AP South 1A. And now I am going to create another subnet. 
here I would like to select the VPC which is a default VPC and now I am going to type the subnet name. The subnet name is South1B. I am going to copy the South1B. Now here availability zone I am going to select 1B. And now the cider block which I am going to place it here. I have already told here the last block will be 20. So now here 172.31 should be the same and here you can able to type as 0.0. .0. So it is also works fine create a subnet. So now it has created the subnet 1A and 1B. So if you go to subnet, how many number of subnets are there? 1A and 1B. And again I am going to create a, another subnet by creating the the subject name which I have selected is 1C. Now which region we need to select 1C. So now cider block, I am going to copy, copy the cider block and paste it. And we need to associate the uh, IP address cider block which is 20 per subnet. And what I am going to do is here I need to change the value here so one particular block value I am going to change. So here I am going to change to 30. Now create a subnet. If you go to the subnet, here how many number of uh, zones are available? One A, one B, one C are available. So this is all about uh, VPCs. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.